We are in the process of piecing together a puzzle that nature delivers to us in bits and pieces. On the one hand, in the sediments of large bones, and also in the sediments of very minute organisms, bits of plants like those I'm observing now. Fragment of skin that will perhaps enable us to reconstruct the plant life, the landscape, the food eaten by the herbivores that graze there, on a flood plain covered with conifers and ferns, some of which were probably tree ferns. One hundred eighty million years later, vegetation similar to the diet of the dinosaurs can still be found on one tiny island in the South Pacific. For Jean Desjacques and Dale Russell, Ile des Pins, or Pine Island, is a throwback to the age of dinosaurs. I wonder if the uh, spin opposite plants look something like this. I yep. think they did. So that's a very ancient uh, form. Yes. It's, uh, we, we say verticillate branching. A hothouse of the Jurassic world, it's warm and humid year-round. Yet there's not a single blade of grass, a flower, or a butterfly. Nature had yet to invent them. Here, dense pine forests mingle with ferns, palms, and exotic monkey puzzle trees. Jean Desjacques and Dale Russell have found a paradise for sauropods. We are arriving at the small grove with these magnificent monkey puzzle trees. They're still quite young. Arocaria, or monkey puzzle trees, are the most primitive conifers alive. The branches are uh, very supple. Leaves like this were a staple of the sauropod diet. But the main course was a tasty carpet of ferns. Wow! A sauropod could feed here for hours, nibbling on the tender shoots. There's nothing but these ferns, nothing else, except for a little monkey puzzle here and there. It must have made a nice grazing ground for them. A good diet, perhaps ferns very similar to those. They must have loved it. What I see here is something like, uh, you know, if you have to go to, like the astronauts wanted to find out what it was like to walk on the moon, so they went to the Sahara Desert in order to find that environment that evoked the moon. And so here, if I want to go to the Jurassic, uh, then I would take a person here to New Caledonia and say, son, absorb this. It won't be exactly like this, but it's going to be a lot like it. Get used to it, because this is the Jurassic. A landscape from the prehistoric world 180 million years ago, preserved on a remote island in the South Pacific. Half a world away, 21st century science and computers join forces to recreate the past. At Meteor Animation Studios in Montreal, the newly discovered dinosaur from Tondut is coming back to life. For Philippe Taquet, it's the moment he's been waiting for. 
Oh yes, yes. It's wonderful to breathe life into an animal that disappeared millions of years ago. It's very well done. We were not sure we had completely captured the shape of the skull. Oh yes, the head is good. The proportions, streamlined, just as they should be. Yes, very good. All right then, I'm going to bring it to life now. Oh my, there it is. It's amazing to see it walking around like that. Really very elegant. Still nice and slender. What is really fabulous is to think that based on a little bone like this, called a chevron, attached to the underside of the tail vertebrae, we can say that this animal is a true sauropod, that it is probably the ancestor of all the great Jurassic dinosaurs, and in fact of Atlasaurus, which followed it and which is much larger. It's amazing to think that these dinosaurs were in Morocco at the right place and the right time, so we were able to find them. And they are the ancestors of the great dinosaurs of North America, of the Jurassic. Missing Link, the forebear of the largest land animals the world has ever seen. No, it in the first its discovery finally closes a 20 million year gap in the age of dinosaurs and adds a new chapter to the history of life on Earth. Yeah, that's quite an animal, isn't it? Our first best known sauropod, 180 million years old. The ancestor of this remarkable creature is waiting to be found. <laughs> 